All right. Hello and welcome back to Stardew Valley for this week's uh, Thanksgiving special. It's just a week of Thanksgiving of Stardew Valley and like uh, for Thanksgiving to appreciate and love the farming life and harvesting and being thankful that Grandpa gave this to us because our life in the uh, <coughs> our life in the, in the workforce was boring. So, now we're going to go say hello to a few na uh, few uh, of the townsfolk. Hopefully by 5 p.m. we'll uh, talk to Willie, possibly get the fishing rod he's going to give us, and uh, yeah, I'm going to grab some potatoes on the way out, because you got to spend money to make money. Let's see, Mr. Dr. Man, can I say hi to you? You're not a doctor. But can I still say hi to you anyways? Hello? Sir? Anybody here? Mr. Doctor Man? Oh, there you are. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Ah, nice to meet you too. Anything else? I perform regular checkup and medical procedures for all the residents in Pelicatan. It's rewarding work. Uh, okay, if you say so. Hi! Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Oh, it's Mario. Ah, cute. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, you're so sweet. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, I'll, I'll take it as a good thing. But, uh, have a nice day. What's up? Uh, trying to keep the artificial alive. I'll pay 200 any enthusiasm to catch three sardines. Okay, cool. That'll give us something to do after 5 p.m. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving onto that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overground fields by myself. Well, now you get to stay off my lawn. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's Miss Vest, the new, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy good produce from you for a good price. Better than Mr. Lewis? I hope so. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local com economy. Cool. I couldn't word. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hi, Marnie. I sell livestock and uh, animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. When I get a barn and an animal in a uh, coop, I will. What are all the ladies doing here? Did I miss out on a ladies party? Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. The hell do you mean by that, lady? Rude. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone moves in. When someone new moves in, having a farmer around could really change things. Yeah, I bet it could. Hello, you must be Vest, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hello. All the girls are going to have the same voice, because I'm not going to keep up with all these people. My husband runs the general store here, and I, I have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the one, the pale one with the purple hair. Oh, okay. Oh, hi Robin. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. Oh, hi Emily. If you're ever looking for something to do in the, the evening, walk by the, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Oh, I, I'm gonna get drunk and like you. Anybody in the, uh, nope. Anybody over here? And, uh, no. Ooh, what's this? Can I eat some of that? No? Alright. Moving on. Alright, you guys, uh, enjoy that, that life. Enjoy the, the women's meeting. Yeah, alright. Sup, sir? Uh, yeah, we all do. I bet we all do. Uh, introductions. 10 out of 28. Oh, jeez. I'm trying, I'm trying here. Oh, I can check trash cans. That's right. Oop, and the bar is open. hi -ya! Sup, sir? I'm just gonna come back here and greet you. Well, hello there. I'm Gus. Ch chef and owner of this, this Star Drop Saloon. Cool. Hi, please relax and enjoy yourself. Can I get some of that delicious dank coffee? I sure can. I sure can't. <laughs> it's 300 bucks for a cup? Get out. May have to tweak my game so we can get this moving along quicker. Well, at a quicker pace. I don't want 
you guys to be bored of the the farm life too quickly. <laughs> it can be Monday. All right, no one's here. Sweet. I need a little RV trailer home. It's cute. Oh, old man. Hi. Huh. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Eh. Well, fuck you too, old man. Not good enough friends with... Alright, wait a second. Was he just in there? He's in there topless. <laughs> Alright, no one else to talk to. My, that, that Alex kid is going to be working out. Alright. Although, I don't think there are... Like, there's... I've noticed there are two kids in the neighborhood, but I don't think there's, like... I think that's it. I think that's the only kids around here. Anyways. Oh, look at Joja. Hi, douche. Welcome to Jojo Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Jojo Customer Satisfaction Representative. That's a big freaking title. When you decide you want to become a Jojo member, I'll be delighted to make your transition a joyous experience. So, I know there's a there's two ways to make the city hall better, either by spirits and doing it the right way, or with just getting a uh, membership with this guy and buying your way which we may do because it's just quicker that way if I tweak my game if I tweak it and there's only one way I can tweak it by adding more money but that would speed up all the process of what I would like to do because it's th this game just you need you need money to do anything and which is fine it's just starting off you're not gonna get much so it's going to be a long, harrowing journey I don't, I don't want to do. <laughs> I've already put, like, over 100 hours in this game. And th he can give us ores if we need it. He can upgrade our tools. And uh, he can also crack open geodes we will find in the mines later on. Oh, I should have went behind. I need to go behind your desk, sir. I need to say hello. Er, uh, uh, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, then you yeah, get. Alright, have a nice day, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking to everyone and checking trash cans, because people like to throw away good stuff. Sup? Hello there, welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Well, uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you ever find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Yeah, sure, because you're going to give me stuff. Alright. Come on, it's almost 5 o'clock. Hurry up, people. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Oh, hello. Is that, that it? Alright. Pokey face, moving on. Not gonna waste my time with you if you're gonna take forever. Who lives here? Nobody. I mean, I think this is, that's Mayor Lewis's house, which is fine. Oh, oh, four o'clock. Ooh, hello. Mm. Yeah, the new farmer we've all been expecting. And his arrival has sparked many conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in a little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ah, uh, you're a douche. You're too handsome to be awesome. <laughs> Cause that's usually the case. Or I'm just biased. Who knows? Anybody home that I can intrude upon? No, alright. Not good enough friends. Well, okay, this is where Emily and her family live. Alright, mm, that's great. And trash can, I already checked it. Oop, trash can, nothing. God, the trash cans are empty. They're never empty. Anybody home? Hello? Nope. Alright. Not good enough with anybody. That's fine. Oh, and I do apologize. I'm kind of getting sick. It's, it's like I'm having sneezing fits all day. And my nose is a little stuffy. I blame the cat because she's been sniffling and sneezing for the past couple days. And today she's fine. And I've been sneezing since I woke up. So, if you hear the sniffles and the somewhat congestion, that's my fault. That's her fault. And I do apologize. Oh, bridge. I uh, need 300 pieces of wood. That's a lot, but it, it won't take us long to get that. 
but mm, clam, clam it up. Give me some clam, clam, clams. Thank you. Go down this side of the pier. Hello, Willy. Oh, hi there. It's nice to see a young blah 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 blah. blah. Anyway, oh, blah, blah, sorry, I'm drunk. Ahoy there, it's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. But you had stuff for me, sir. You said after... Dude. Visit the beach south of town before... Oh, before. My bad, Willie. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I guess we'll fish some other time. <laughs> That'll be the next episode then. Let's just get a move on to home. Call it a night. And then uh, we'll look at how wonderful our stuff is growing. Hooray! Oh, I'm stupid. I read that wrong. I could have... Hello? Oh, I already said hi to you. Alright, bye-bye. <laughs> uh, nope, I already said hi to you too. Uh, bye-bye. Ugh. <laughs> it's so boring to run between because it's getting dark after seven. The music kind of cuts. All right, so let's uh get in the house. Go to sleep for the night. Yes, we will. And uh, let's see what money we made, and then we'll call it a episode. All right, so we got 40, 40 gold for some clay. Just clay. That's actually not bad for two pieces of clay. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. All right. So I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope everyone's having a fantastic Thanksgiving week. I hope you appreciate your loved ones and your pets and animals. And I hope everyone has a fantastic day. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you on the next episode. Bye.